Hi guys, it's Thomas here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a tool that I've been using a lot recently and that has really changed the way uh, that I work. And that tool is called Deep Research by OpenAI. Have you ever wished you could get deeper, more up-to-date insights on any topic without actually having to spend hours searching online? Well, that's exactly what ChatGPT Deep Research does. Deep Research is an advanced tool built directly into ChatGPT that lets you access real-time information from the web, summarize them and analyze them. It's especially useful if you're working on stuff like market research, competitive analysis or drafting reports. Instead of digging through multiple sources yourself, Deep Research can quickly scan the web and present you with the key takeaways. What's more, every output is fully documented with clear citations to sources, making it super easy to verify and reference the information. So traditional GPT search or query can help you look up uh, uh, quick information and it will give you uh, fast, concise answers in a couple of seconds, while deep research will deliberately take more time. So basically the, the query can take anywhere between five to up to 30 minutes to deliver a thorough and complete response while looking at dozens of sources online. And what's great is that recently uh, Deep Research has been made available to even the plus and uh, team tiers. So basically, if you pay uh, your subscription of the $20 per month, you can now access Deep Research and use it uh, 10 times a month. That's currently the limit that is, uh, that is set up by, by OpenAI right now. The pro users will have 120 deep research queries per month in their in their bundle. But I would say that even the 10 searches a month can really save you hours of work. So it's really, really uh, valuable to look into this tool right now uh, if it's available online. So with that being said, let me give you an example of how a how a prompt, uh, a query and an outcome uh, from chat gpt deep research looks like all right so let me now give you a specific example and break down a little bit how uh, uh, the deep research works so first of all how to use deep research it's pretty simple what you just need to do is to click on this uh, this icon and that will turn on the the, the deep research um, uh, functionality and how i typically use uh, uh, deep research is the following so as you can see here in the window what i start with is the initial prompt where i of course describe what i want to do and in, in this case i've decided to explore the topic of uh, european uh, corporate foundations uh, because I, that was uh, part of the project i was working on and as you can see uh, what i asked uh, chat gpt deep research to do is to create a report on prolific corporate foundations uh, I already included a few names that I that I had in mind uh, to give it a bit of a framing. And then what I, what I ask is to identify other good candidates to include uh, besides these four. And then I describe in, in a bit more depth what type of data I actually want. So I want to understand the relationship of the foundation to the corporate, the thesis of the foundation, what they support, how, they, how much money they manage and how much money they disperse. Any, any other interesting qualitative and quantitative data points. After sending this prompt, uh, Deep Research comes back uh, with uh, a few clarif clarifications or clarifying questions, which is great because that enables you and the system, of course, to kind of do what, what you want. So here you can see that it asks me about specifics of what other foundations I want to include what scope of data I want to include, what format I prefer. And what I come back with is that I want recent data. I want a structured report, uh, but in the end, I want to create a summary in a table with relevant comparables. What happens after is that uh, Deep Research does, it work, does its work. And what's also great is that you can follow its uh, train of thought. So if uh, I click here, Basically, I can see how ChatGPT is going through the 
different sources online, how it's kind of thinking through the relationships between the data, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it does a, a lot of work actually. In this case, it took just uh, six minutes, but it went through almost uh, 60 sources of data. And what's great is then in the text itself, then you get the citations, so you can check whether the model is actually not hallucinating or yeah, whether whether the the sources are credible, etc. And so, how does the output look like? So, as you can see, uh, it's uh, it basically starts with uh, the first foundation, which is the Rolex Foundation, and it structures it in a way that it describes the context, the mission and focus, financial scale, impact, etc. And what it also does is that it describes all the foundations I asked for, so Rolex, IKEA, but then. It also does what I asked it to, is to ident identify ideal new candidates to include. So for example, Nova Nordisk wasn't in my original list and it came up with a bunch of more foundations that I asked it to. And the level of detail for each of these entries is actually really good. So if you if you just take this report and this, is, this would be a space that you're interested in, I think it gives you a great kind of primer on on these organiza organizations, what they do, what's their financial scale, etc. And the last thing that I want to show you is that uh, at the very end, as I asked it to, it created a summary table of all the organizations or foundations that uh, that it researched, including pretty interesting data around corporate link. So basically, how that foundation is tied to their parent parent corporate company. Uh, what assets do they manage, so how much money, how much money they uh, tend to spend, and also it sort of summarizes the primary mission and focus areas for each of these organizations. So if you really think about, if you were to do this by yourself manually, uh, I think this this work would take me, you know, a couple of hours at, at least. So. Uh, ChatGPT Deep Research is a great tool if you're doing this type or type of work. So if you're, yeah, sort of summarizing, organizing uh, data and intelligence online, if you're building market trend reports, uh, market sizings, if you're doing business analysis for your startup, if you're if you're even an academic researcher and trying to identify interesting sources out there, these are all areas where I think. ChatGPT is really a uh, yeah quite a quite a actually life changing and work workflow changing tool. So if you are subs subscribed to uh, to OpenAI, uh, definitely you know play around with this, and I think this can really save you hours and hours of work every month. So I hope that has been helpful. Uh, I'll continue covering different AI tools on my channel. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments on how to improve this or what you would like to see, please uh, drop a comment uh, below. Thank you very much for checking this out and I will see you in the next video.